Hey, what's up everybody? This is Bar None. Thank you for watching my video. I thought I'd wear a different hat today because I think it would be very appropriate in regards to the video I'm about to talk about and could potentially be one of the more important videos I've done or will ever do. Um, this one, obviously, by the title of this, is going to talk about the United States of America Corporation flag. Now, if you notice in this hat, one thing that you will not see in this flag, like you will see in the court system, and you will see when the, any president, at least recent history, speaks, is you'll not notice the gold trim around the American flag. Now, so many people, unfortunately, do not research things. And if you know anything about law, and if you watch my old video, I used to do a lot of videos about trust law, admiralty law, etc., that law is based on presumption. In other words, they presume, thereby, you know, the court systems, they or the police or whatever, they presume that you know the law. That's why you hear things like ignorance of the law is no excuse. So, since law is based on presumption, they presume when you go to court or you have some kind of crime or you're accused of a crime, for example, you're supposed to know your rights, you're supposed to know about the laws. So they're not going to help you. So why is this relevant? in regards to this video. Well, throughout history, governments, societies, what have you, have used things called symbols. The reason they use symbols, especially in law, is for the fact that the majority of people were uneducated, could not read and write. So the average person throughout history was not smart enough to be able to understand things like written law. So what they did throughout history is created symbols, basically for the dumb or for the uneducated. I'll give you a prime example. If you see a modern-day circle around a cigarette with a line through it, we know that's a symbol for no smoking. If you saw a bottle and it had a skull and crossbones in it with, again, a circle around it, what does that mean? Well, that's telling you that it's poison. If you see a door with a yellow sign with black three black triangles, that is a sign for radioactivity or radioactive. So basically what it is is symbols are used for people who cannot read and write so they can understand something without having the ability to have to read anything. That's why things like a traffic light, you're programmed to automatically know when it turns red that you're supposed to stop. It doesn't say that you have to. And that's why even things like stop signs, even though they say stop, the, the pattern that the stop sign has and the color that the stop sign has is similar all around the United States because you'll know, even if you can't read the word stop, you know that's a stop sign. Okay, so again, how is this relevant with the flag? Well, since law is based on presumption and people are supposed to know about law, th most people will see the American flag that you see behind the president when he speaks or see in a courtroom that gold trim around the flag as some kind of nice decoration. Well, that is a symbol. And again, based on presumption, you're supposed to know what that means. Now, the gold trim around any American flag, or any flag for that matter, means that it is not a regular U.S. constitutional flag. It is an admiralty flag that has to do with admiralty and maritime law, which means when you see you're in a room where the president's speaking and there's a flag with gold trim or you go to a court to defend yourself for whatever reason why you're there and there's a flag with gold trim what they're telling you through symbolism is that you're not in the united states of america you're in basically you're out to sea literally not literally but figuratively you're in maritime law which means the u.s constitution as it's written for the the original United States of America people, that it, the Constitution for you will not apply. And that is also why you see all of these um, officials and banks and people in government, they commit all these crimes and they never get punished. Or maybe they just get a, you know, a slap in the wrist to kind of show the public, oh, we're going after them. Like when a bank steals $30 billion and they get a $1 billion fine. Not really much of a punishment if you can keep probably 98% of what you steal. So, here's something that um, I've discovered through another person's video and a couple of other videos that I've watched. 
and I actually looked this up so you can actually research it, and I'll post one of many links so this way it makes it easier. Here's something that is really important to know and why the government's getting away with doing lots of things and why we should potentially expect martial law. In 18, uh, September 24th, 1862, President Lincoln issued the following proclamation suspending the rights of habeas corpus. In other words, declared martial law in the United States. Um, I'll post the link so you could read this. Now, something that you have to know about law, because again, it's based on presumption. When a law is passed, unless it is amended or written out of the Constitution or written out of law, it stays in effect forever. So unless it's like, for example, when they had prohibition, when they realized that prohibition wasn't going to work, just like gun banning will not work and the war on drugs will not work, when they realized that the people, it created more crime and it was more problems than it was worth, they took that amendment out. So when they create any kind of law, it lasts indefinitely, even if they don't bother to mention it to you because it happened over a hundred plus years ago. Because, again, because law is based on presumption, you're supposed to know this. Now here's the funny part. Abraham Lincoln died in 1865. That's three years later. He never took off or canceled martial law. So that's a wonderful secret that your government, if you live in the United States of America Corporation, has failed to mention to you and why they get away with all the things they get away with. Because technically, we've been under martial law as a country since 1862. Because of the fact that the president was killed, or shall I say assassinated, he never got to take us off martial law. So that might be something that a lot of people may want to start considering when it talks about when the people nowadays are talking about gun bans and all these wonderful laws they're creating. There's a lot of things that are going on that presumably you're supposed to know about. But unfortunately, because they dumb us all down with things like American Idol and Jersey Shore and Honey Boo Boo, waiting for my wife to laugh. Yeah, she's not going to laugh. All right. What it does is it basically occupies the people so they don't spend any time trying to learn what's going on until, like I did the video the other day of the villagers and the people that lived in Pompeii, they found it the hard way, the error of their ways. So hopefully people will start researching the gold trim around the American flag and actually learn all about admiralty law, maritime law. Because when you go into a court, if anybody's ever been into court, you will notice you have to go through swinging gates. That is a symbolism for walking onto an admiralty law ship. So that's why they make you go onto the ship, so to speak. And that's why things like birth certificates were created. Because people don't realize the way that countries shipped goods to other countries was by boat. And when they got to another country and docked to the shores, they would have to register everything that was on those boats. So what they did was they created each individual thing that was marked was given a certificate of birth. In other words, it was registered here in the country. That's where birth certificates for people like us come from. It all has to do with maritime law. Because if you look through symbolism, and law has plenty of symbolism, when you're in a womb in your mother, you're in water. When she gives birth, you are now being placed on land. So also, if you look at what they did when cargo ships would come into countries, not only would they give it a certificate of birth, they would give it its own registration number. Well, when you're born, you're given a birth certificate written in all capital letters, which is another symbolism for the fact that they label you a corporation and they make a corporation out of your name in capital letters. They give you a birth certificate, which registers that you've come off the ship onto dry land, and they give you a social security number. In other words, identification number. And you look at the same certificates as a piece of cargo. So in other words, when you're born in this country, you're going during, because of admiralty law, you are going from a ship onto dry land. And you become a documented cargo. You are, become, you are labeled a corporation, which means you become property. So these are things you really need to know about. So when you're president and when all these officials and all these bankers and all these people do all these illegal things and they don't get in trouble, 
Now you know why. Now you will also know why that no matter how much you say, well, I have my constitutional right to do this and my constitutional right to do that, well, first of all, we're under martial law. It hasn't been taken down, so they can do whatever they want because they've taken away your right, your habeas corpus. And the fact that you don't know anything about martial law means you can't defend yourself properly because a piece of property cannot speak. So these are things you really need to know. So before this, um, for some reason, shuts off, I'm going to post this video. If you're a true American and you want truth spread, I really highly recommend either making your own video or sharing this video so people get the truth. This is the real American flag, minus the eagle. Don't be fooled anymore. And don't just assume that the people that are controlling us and running us are there for your best interest. That's a very dangerous move. People once believed in Hitler at one point. Ask them how that worked. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.